Hello everyone, I'm Rashmi Pandari and I've got two of my students today. I've got Shreya and Ankush from CS and IS and they've both cleared seven marks. So let's hear it from them. So what was the eligibility? Uh, the eligibility was uh, seven CGPA uh -huh. uh, in the uh, in this semester, like uh, overall. Overall engineering. Uh, they have not mentioned about tenth and twelfth as uh -huh. such. Okay. And uh, yeah, they were recruiting uh, for two roles in the CS. One was uh, support analyst, and the other one was uh, software developer. All right. And um, for EC, it was oh, yeah. installation engineer. Was okay. There one more role for EC. So even EC was there. Uh -huh. Okay. What were the rounds? There were basically two rounds. One was just aptitude and uh, one more was a uh, technical HR to gather. Mm -hmm. And in the first round, uh, the 240 people wrote the test. Mm -hmm. And uh, for IS and CS, it was basically uh, non-MCQ kind of. There were eight questions for us. Mm -hmm. Four were coding, like not writing coding, but we had to write the output of the codes. And uh, remaining four questions were like uh, basically aptitude. And in coding, there were uh, questions related to recursion. Uh, array and uh, even increment decrement operator kind of and uh, in uh, aptitude basic aptitude uh, which was uh, one was a boat boat related question we had to find the speed of boat mm. and uh, one more was train mm. which is commonly known to everybody okay and uh, for EC people it was MCQ and they had 10 questions and uh, out of that five questions were basically related to basics of uh, uh, electronics and uh, remaining five were aptitude with MCQ. Okay. So, uh, so how tough was it? Was it tough? Uh, it was like moderate, ma'am. So, if you had uh, practiced aptitude from India Bix, uh -huh. and also the book was provided from the college, uh -huh. so that was also very that was good. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. There was one question which was asked from there. Okay, <laughs> but then more or less the guidelines are the same, right? Uh, yeah, it's the do... same thing, ma'am. All right. And even the sir, which uh, the training which was provided by the college was very good and uh, even that helped us a lot the tricks which were provided by Nagesh was uh, oh, that was good right was so please don't miss out on the aptitude okay some of you must be thinking oh it's aptitude because we have got aptitude right from the first year nowadays so mm -hmm. please attend your training classes because don't leave everything for the final because what all can you study right at the end yes. okay uh, but still having said this how many cleared it was totally 42 students cleared uh -huh. after the first round. So around 250 you said took? Uh, 240 plus. 240 plus taking and then only 50 clearing with a moderate level aptitude. That means people don't even do the basic, if it's moderate it's not really tough. In spite of that, that only shows how much how, how much a student prepares for a campus recruitment. They think they prepare but actually what they prepare is not enough. Because everyone should have cleared if it was moderate, right? Moderate means easy, right? Almost okay. So basically everyone should have cleared and that will be the cutoff of 7 CGPA. Yeah. It's not that 60% is allowed. 7 CGPA, people are not able to clear the a moderate level aptitude. Yeah, all right. Okay, then what are the next round? Uh, so uh, they had mentioned two rounds, but uh, people whom they were considering for the role of software developer, I think they had to go through an additional round. Like mm. if you did well in the second mm. round, they had to go through an additional round. Mm. So I went to the uh, like second round. Mm. He had asked me like uh, four questions. Mm. He started off with a self-introduction. And the first question was uh, like a basic SQL query. Mm. Uh, so he had to like there were two tables provided. One is the employee and the other one was the department. I had to just select the name of uh, all the employees in the department. Everything. Then uh, one more thing is he asked about uh, code, which was uh, you have to print the first n prime numbers. So if n was five, you have to print first five uh, prime numbers. If it was eight, you have to print first eight prime numbers. Mm. Uh, then the third question was uh, he asked about joints. So give me an example of join, what are SQL joins, what are they used for. Then uh, one more was the SQL uh, group and the uh, aggregate functions. Mm -hmm. So he asked about that, mm -hmm. four questions in all. So you could answer. Yeah, uh, I had, uh, I was confused about the joins, yeah. but whatever I knew, I just told him. All right. What about you? Uh, for me, it was just a one round because mm -hmm. uh, when I went, it was, uh, I was at the end, my names were at the end. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I think already they had selected SDs who they want. I guess they were uh, waiting for the support analyst, I guess. So I had only one round. Basically, he started with uh, asking about tell me about yourself as basic question which all interviews will have. And uh, when you tell about that, you have to stress a project which you are very thorough with. I basically uh, uh, told him about more about my uh, DBMS project, which I was really thorough with. And um, most of the things which were there in that was did by me. So I told him everything about my DPMS project and little things about other projects. And then he asked, uh, he uh, that was a new project and nobody did that till now. It was related to mentor mentoring which uh, happens in our college. 
so he asked me to explain that then he asked me even to draw the er diagram of it it is called entity relationship diagram when we submit our uh, project uh, this one we had to draw it and submit to the project guide there and uh, next he asked me whether you have used a trigger there uh, it is a basic thing which we had to implement uh, in the is department which we are told so it is something like uh, trigger is something like uh, it has to automate some things uh, using the data which were given by the students mm. and next he mm. asked me to write a factorial program using recursion which was already asked in the aptitude round and i wrote it next he asked me the same question which was asked to her it was a prime number they gave a n as input mm. and we had to print uh, the n number of uh, prime number where i had made a small mistake there he got to know that i am knowing the concept but i had made a mistake right so he gave me 5 minutes extra he told me to sit down and uh, write it i'll go out and come so he gave me lots of time to write i wrote it but uh, the thing was i had written something different i had written my own approach which was uh, not from any other this one so he asked me to explain and uh, he asked me the deep questions i had written something like uh, max is equal to the number by 2 uh, he asked me why did i write i told when we check for a prime number we go till the half of number not the full so he was impressed with that i guess then he asked me are you fine with sd or uh, uh, analyst i i told i give my first preference to sd than uh, mm. analyst then he said fine then at the end uh, remember to ask one question that is a feedback from them i asked him the feedback i guess nobody asked and uh, he was he was not asking have you have you have any uh, questions for me so I just asked whether can you give me feedback and how can i improve myself he told me that uh, you are overthinking a lot you are nervous but you know the concept i said thank you and i just came out uh, this was my interview okay. which i had all right uh, see that's a good point that you brought up uh, brought up uh, brought up, uh, brought up. Uh, rather than asking what is my uh, feedback about my interview you know they may not directly like it sometimes what you could do is have a question and you can always say if you may that i have a question that that way you can approach because see, if you ask for a feedback now suppose there's someone who's not done well and then what do you say okay I mean, naturally they may say something okay you did this good and then okay you can work on this area but basically uh, that's not a real uh, i'm just correcting you why because a lot of people are watching and they may think oh that's a very good question to ask no don't ask that don't ask for your feedback what you can ask for is something related to your work something related to the organization something what they have told or some question that you didn't understand and then you can ask from that that is a better way of asking but still it is better than not asking anything did you get it so here is course all right because nobody has actually the courage to go and ask uh, so people don't usually do that yeah uh, so my first round was done mm. so they after 10 to 15 minutes they had called me for the second round like the third round mm. uh so he started off with a self introduction i told like uh, basically as ankush told uh, like include your projects whatever you have uh, done so i told about my projects some of the certifications and i had also mentioned some of my soft skills like i am a quick learner mm. i am a good listener all that mm. then uh, he started asking like which is your favorite language or subject what certifications have you done uh, i have done like uh, nptel exams i have written ma'am two of them in uh, c and java So when he asked me like which is your favorite language, I mentioned Java there. Mm -hmm. So he went on asking questions from that. Mm -hmm. So he asked me like what is an abstract class. Mm -hmm. I told him what is an abstract class. Then the follow-up question was like okay, then why do you need an interface if you already have an abstract class? Then I had to mention the difference between them. Then uh, he asked uh, questions about SQL queries. Uh, SQL queries was uh, like one was a, a group function, count functions, all that, which was taught in the DBMS laboratory. So somewhat similar questions of that sort. And one was about the pattern matching using the like clause. Like he gave a query like uh, uh, you know get the name of the students whose name starts from S. Mm -hmm. So you had to use a like clause for that. Then uh, later on he asked about uh, exception handling. he asked about like uh, what are the different collection frameworks you know and what are the users of those collection frameworks then uh, basic stacks and queues and uh, oops concept uh, again uh, after that he asked me like yeah many were sql queries uh, it lasted up to 10 uh, 20 minutes and he asked like four to five sql queries he asked me what is the difference between the in clause and the equal to operator in sql uh and yeah, after all that he asked me like yeah, which role do you prefer are you flexible enough to like you know take any of the roles up so i was like yes then uh, when he asked me like do you have any questions i'm like what skills do you want me to learn before i join the organization so uh, he told us like uh, yeah that's a nice question 
yeah he told like uh, uh, there's no need of that just uh, c hash if uh, because they were preferring c hash they were like we would train you in c hash during the internship period so that's what he told me i asked the question awesome. you had another round no no I that's it and then you had a what hr nothing nothing else. great <laughs> and uh, while giving the result the first result was different and uh, later my name was added to it okay and uh, i was in a bit shock when i got to know that i got selected shock not when you got didn't get selected is it <laughs> no no you was uh, you, you i was you. not shocked because uh, already what rounds they had we didn't have we had only one round i uh. thought i was rejected in the first round so i didn't had one more round okay. so See? i thought i may not get selected okay so you were surprised all right you had an hr or that was no no there were three rounds in all that that's that's it. yeah all right so any tip for any junior who's watching and it's not only regarding semnox it's for any company what would you say if you want to prepare and get into a good company what should they focus on one thing is uh, when you go to any company's interview before that please watch rashmi ma'am's video <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not just it texting yeah but it didn't help yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you were not company. before you go see what i'm telling is you know this, uh, my videos are on first, first year yeah. you please watch it in the first year finally yeah. don't watch if you have done from the first year second year third year whichever company come they going to ask this only yeah. we were yeah. actually yeah. unaware of it when yeah. i was in first uh, year first year so if somebody told us it would be helpful that uh, watch her this uh, it would be helpful for us yeah so i thought actually i thought this was you know You know, this is no, we simple watch logic. Yeah. You know that watching in the first year because see the questions that they are asking. Oh, that is studied in second year. I don't know DBMS. I don't know. That's what they yeah, studied oh, in yeah. second year. So you know all these things. You know they ask me on DBMS. They ask me on SQL. Well, I don't know when do you study all this. But basically you study it in your second year and yeah, third year. year. Yeah. Mostly OS yeah. concepts are taught. Yeah, in and the coding. Every company which I had attempted, all the uh, before I go, I have just referred your video. Almost everything will be in the same kind it's of similar, uh, yeah. <laughs> even the Deloitte. Every every company which I have attend, attempted, all the companies rounds were uh, more or less the same. Uh, same. Yes. Similar. So at least you know now what you're heading in, right? Mm. Yeah. But ideally, first year to <coughs> watch because you'd have time to prepare. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And next, for aptitude, better to go for India Bix. Almost all companies which come here will have the questions directly from, from India, India Bix. So India Bix is questions. free. Free, no? Free, yeah. yeah. free and then what do they have to go they go to go to the website something uh-huh, yeah there is even app for that and both website is okay. there so there is something called online random test for aptitude mm. if you attempt one question like one paper per day mm. it's very helpful mm. when before i attempted this uh, the last two companies i i was not able to clear those uh, other companies which i had applied so i started preparing from them i just uh, attempted one paper per day and uh, i cleared directly some knocks and had 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 you done this maybe 6 months before no. you yeah, would have cleared yeah. all yeah. see it's not that you know see it's only about preparation let me tell you students see we are getting a lot of companies now like one is coming with a 24 lakh package that 24 lakh package everyone will crack in the next semester mm. that much i know yeah. why because they've got another 4 5 months months if yes. you at least start preparing one month before or not one month 6 months before chances are higher ha huh? and for learning java huh. uh, there is a YouTube channel called for basics you can uh, refer programming with Mosh. He speaks Program- in English programming, programming with, with Mosh. M O S H. M O S H. Uh, he he does basics very well. And for complete videos there is something called Java Brains. Mm. He is completely into Java. He doesn't take anything else. He uh, teaches only Java. So if anyone wants to learn Java, they can go there. Yeah, Java. Will you give me the uh, dis- in the uh, description? Yeah. I will put. So if Ang- they say they'll give it, if they don't give it, it's not there in the description. Okay. So if Ankush you provide me, I will put it in the description for this video. Sure. So that anyone who when did you come to know about this? Uh, when I was in third year. Ah, see, third year. Years. Third year he came to know. Had you got it earlier? Couldn't it be good? I came to know it like starting of fourth year. Ah. So it is even more late. Yeah, you got it right. So please share. That's why I'm telling. I'm putting it right now. So these, this is not for campus. I mean placements. Do you get it? If you're see, if they're asking a seven point two CGPA, naturally even your subject. So you do have Java, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we so have Java. So if you study all this, it yes, will help. It will be helpful. Yeah. Ah, okay. Then and for coding cl- platforms, it is better to start with Hacker Rank because Hacker uh, Rank. Yeah. See, people say it's difficult. No, Hacker uh-huh. Rank is basically easier one. Start you can start the with the yeah. yeah. Because it's uh, based on languages. There are different languages, uh-huh. and uh, it is according to language, like uh, simple, easy, basics, and uh-huh. all those stuffs are covered in the questions. And there are stars given to it. After you complete certain number of questions, uh-huh. you'll get some stars. Like uh-huh. even you can put it in LinkedIn and Flex. Yeah. And oh, next, huh? next you have uh, you can go for code chef or uh, uh, hacker or hacker, and then you can go for lead code if you are fine with all this. And please lead don't. Lead code is later. Yeah, oh. last one is lead code. Okay. And there is something called Stryver's cheat sheet. Okay. If you want to clear the big companies like uh, Google or something, uh. Stryver's cheat sheet is a best. Stryver's cheat sheet. 
Please put that link. I'll also. take you forward. This uh, is a yeah. YouTube channel. You know what? Please give me all these yes, links yes. together. Please, I'll put it in the okay. description. Okay. And this is what I think. You would say. Wrong. See, and always watch till the end because see, all this gyan comes at the end. <laughs> Anything to add on? Uh, I would say that yes, be thorough with the whatever subjects are taught, like especially OS, DBMS, and uh, CNS. Uh -huh. They are taught during your fourth and fifth semester. Uh -huh. And uh, I would say OS, a very good channel is Niso Academy. Uh -huh. They teach really well in OS. That. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, please put that okay. uh -huh. And uh, DBMS also, there is a channel called Gate Smashers. Uh, they teach well and SQL queries also is covered in the same channel and uh, yes for DSA I referred uh, Striver take you forward and uh, for Java I actually referred uh, Kunal Kushwaha again uh, uh, for Java he covered all the Java concepts yes that's it so Kunal Kushwaha is good for Java or this one what did you say Somewhere. I referred both ma'am but Which when I when I uh, according to me Java brains is better than you I don't know about Java brains. So okay. uh, Oops concept was uh, I felt better in Kunal Kushwaha. Linked list he teaches better. Hmm. Uh, uh, Kunal Kushwaha. Okay. I referred a linked list from there. From him. Okay, so please watch all this. Okay, whenever you're watching everyone, I don't know. Does your generation watch YouTube? Do you yes, watch yes, YouTube? we refer everyone. Yeah. More than course, we go for YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. no, even I am not. Even YouTube is so yes. good. You know, YouTube is like really good. But only thing is, you should get the right channel. Channel, yeah. yes. There's so many channels and you get And there's one more channel, Code Help by uh, Babar. Ah, yeah. Even he's very good. He's good for what? Uh, everything. There's uh, OS, uh, DBMS, and coding as well. C++. Right. DSA or in C++. Even you can refer Jenny's lecture and Abdul Berry for. Uh, yeah. So much if you give them, that they'll all get confused. <laughs> that is also good. Okay, isn't it? You know what? Uh, you give me all these links in the description. So in this, uh, I think more than Semnox is be okay. <laughs> Links how to crack any good yes, cup in general. In yes. general, so that you can actually uh, this thing. But remember, you, you would remember right what all you yes. said. Yes, yes, yes. And you would share it with me, and we would share it and put it, put it in the description. So yes, thank you. Then huh. uh, seven were selected, and uh, okay. five were from CS and IS, two were from EC. EC. All right. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you very much. And uh, till we meet again, it's bye from all of us.